So guys, how's it going? My name is Under the Radar, and a welcome back to an amazing video that I am so, so unbelievably happy to be bringing you guys. So, um, IRL stuff happened. I was too busy to work. I had to leave the P4G, and because I had to leave the P4G, I let somebody else take over my team. I let somebody else take over my team, and they're doing an amazing job with it. Greg, I... Thank you very much for stepping in when I could not. However, now I got fired from my job for a very bullshit reason. Um, well, if you guys care to know, uh, my boss was a massive cunt. He pretty much fired me because he didn't like the fact that I knew more about his job than he did. And he was scared that I was going to take his job. Uh, so I got fired for it. I uh, made up a bunch of bullshit lies that I did not do. And I got fired for it. And unfortunately, I have no way to fight it to get my job back. Besides, if I'm going to be treated that way, I don't need that job. So, now that I do not have a job, I can focus more on mons, and with school coming up anyway, I would have to cut back on hours to study, so, um, it was kind of just timing in general, and as soon as I got fired, my good buddy Bub, unfortunately, had to take uh, a very, uh, short time of absence, and he was also in the P4G. Whenever he left, I, I was willing to step in, and everybody in the league was more than kind enough to allow me back into the league. Um, some people are probably going to say that I'm only doing this because I lost and that I'm lying about all of this shit. Um, I promise you, <laughs> I'm not. I was working crazy amounts of hours. Um, and now that I do not have a job, I'm willing to take over this team and I'm willing to finish out the season and put my best foot forward and do everything possible to make sure that this team goes to the finals again and wins and defends their title. I feel a little bit gypped uh, that I didn't completely deserve this on my own. However, a title is still a title. And uh, I'm taking over a team that Bub did amazingly. I believe at the time of me taking this over, he is 5-2 and two, uh, with one game unplayed. That one game is going to remain unplayed until we know whether or not that game is going to matter for playoff contentions. If it does, we will play it. If it doesn't, it is just going to remain as an unplayed game and it doesn't matter. Um, so... Five and two is how I'm taking over this team, and I plan to make it only two losses remaining for the rest of the season, and Bub left me with a very interesting team. The team that Bub left me with, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put a copy of it up on the team, but it was Mega Metacham, Togekiss, Shaman, Zygar 10%, Registeel, Gengar, Electros, Slowking, Steelix, Stoutland, and Tyranitar. I believe Stoutland was traded for Shuckle at some point in time, but I don't really know off the top of my head. Anyway, it was still a pseudo sand team, which I had before I left the league the first time. And ultimately, I do not think that sand worked out for me. This may be my chance to change it up. Whenever I came into the league, I was allowed to make as many changes to the team as I wanted to make it my own. And I made some not like massive changes, but I made enough changes to make it my own and to make me happy. Um, first, I will say, uh, Bub has done, <laughs> in case you didn't see, the return bitches. Uh, Bub did amazing with Mega Metacham, so I'm leaving it on the team. Based on 100 speed is amazing, pure power is an amazing ability, two forms of priority, very hard high, uh, hard hitting high jump kick, and he supported Mega Metacham very well with something with other mods that he had in the back. So I really liked the core of Mega Metacham plus Gengar offensively. Uh, so I wanted to keep those two mods specifically. Another mod that I wanted to keep was uh, Togekiss. Togekiss, there we go. Uh, with Serene, not Hustle, that's stupid, Serene Grace, uh, very bulky on the special side, base 80 speed, gives me a nice little speed teardrop from 100 to 80, access to Roost, Defog is a big one, uh, Air Slash flinches, great choice Scarfer, I used this very well in the first season of P4G, it was on the original team, it's back, I'm super happy. There were also uh, some other mons on the team that I wanted to keep that unfortunately I couldn't. Um, the big one that I did change up, my dragon type instead of Zygar 10%, I actually got Dragonite. Dragonite is stupid busted this gen. With Dragon Dance plus multi scale plus Z Fly, it is stupid broken. So yes, I did make this one of my Z Move users. Uh, very offensive, very good, especially or physically, very, very good with a nice defogger in uh, 
Togekiss, I think it's decent enough for this. This also gives me two uh, ground immunities, which is also really nice because the team was pretty ground weak, if I do say so myself. And I did not make it any less ground weak. So uh, this is a very good offensive core physically with Mega Metacham plus Dragonite. Choice Bandit E speed is nothing to laugh at. I now have three forms of priority, which is uh, pretty, pretty big. After Dragonite, I knew I wanted to keep Shaman because Shaman, it gives me a ground resist. The team that I planned on building was extremely ground weak and I needed to keep something to try to switch into Earthquake. This also gives me a Healing Wish user, a Leech Seeder, very bulky Mon, Natural Cure, so a general uh, switch in to, general switch in? A general switch in to uh, Toxic Spikes, things like that, and be able to switch out pretty easily to soak up status that Dragonite might not want to take. And right now I'm looking pretty ice weak. Mega Metacham can handle ice types decently well. Uh, so I definitely want to patch that up later on. And the easiest way for me to patch that up is with Darmanitan. I had this in uh, PPL last season. Amazing Mon. Absolutely love it. Choice Scarf U-Turn. I love it. That's why I like Flygon so much. And this thing is just very, very powerful. Uh, there are some very heat sets with this thing that I have uh, had stocked up in my head that I want to use in upcoming games so i'm very excited for that uh but ultimately darmanitan is very very cool very very ow and right now darmanitan dragonite plus mega metacham is going to put on a lot of pressure physically and offensively in general and going in order this is my mega this is my tier one my tier two and my two tier threes my tier four no not electric what no no Electros, whatever. It's Electros. Uh, I wanted another ground immunity since uh, Darmanitan plus my remaining picks are pretty weak uh, to ground. So I wanted another ground immunity. A knockoff user, a U-Turner to go along with uh, Darmanitan is pretty nice. Uh, along with having some very good coverage and this uh, pressures uh, bulky water types that Darmanitan may not want to deal with. And uh, it's also being pressured by Shaman. So I have my electric type. Uh, give me one second until I can pull up a new row of six and I'll be right back. So once I had Electros uh, figured out, I knew what I wanted the rest of my team to be pretty much. Um, and for my tier five, I wanted a very slept on uh, new fun toy to play with. And that is Linoon. With Gluttony and the Super Berries that we have now with base 100 speed and extreme speed, uh, along with Belly Drum, this thing is stupid strong, believe it or not. With seven, base 70 attack with extreme speed, that is stab, is stupid strong. And it actually has a decent uh, move pool with things like Grass Knot, Gunk Shot, it has um, Play Rough, has Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, Pursuit. There was another one that I really, really liked. It has access to Trick, so I can run like Trick Choice Scarf. Um, it does not get U-Turn, which is less than ideal. However, it does get some pretty cool moves like Iron Tail. Uh, if I don't want to run Gunk Shot, it also gets access to... There's something else that I really, really liked that I can't remember off the top of my head. Natural Gift. That's what it was. So if I didn't want to run like a Super Berry, I could just run Belly Drum plus Natural Gift and do a lot of damage to something. Uh, so that was my tier 5 pick. I'm very happy with this thing. Abe in the NPL is using it amazingly. Uh, he loves this thing. I love this thing. And then, of course, as I said, I definitely wanted to keep Gengar. It is my favorite ghost type in the draft format. After using a bulky one and using Gengar in the past, I love offensive ghost types. They are so hard to switch into. And this gives me a very good fairy killer for something like Mega Meta Champ to not have to deal with. Uh, so I really, really like uh, Gengar. This is another one of my Z-movers. Oh, and Shaman is my super Z-mover user so that's what that's for um then we have uh so right now my only rocker right now i actually don't have a rocker up until this point i don't think i don't have a rocker up until this point so i needed a couple of those and realistically something that fit the team very well is riparia because my team is extremely weak to fire. I do not have a good switch into fire types at all. So this is a very good switch into it, along with having access to solid rock and being a ground type. This also gives me an electric immunity uh, and I can use it for pretty much anything that I want because of how fat it is. Very hard hitting base 140 attack as well. Uh, very good base HP and base defense. So I really like Rhyperior Zaman. Now, 
this mon here uh, that I picked up, a lot of people dislike it. However, I love Empoleon. I think Empoleon is very, very good. It's a very reliable rock setter and a very reliable defogger while also having some very cool sets up its sleeve like Defiant uh, plus Aqua Jet is very cool. It has access to Swords Dance. It has access to a whole bunch of really cool moves on top of things like Earthquake, Brick Break, uh, Avalanche. It has Grass Knot. It, it's very, very cool. And access to Knockoff, which I, I love Knockoff. It's very, very cool. Um, so I, I really like Empoleon. I think it has a very good fit on this team. Very good rocker. Uh, very good steel type. Very good mon. Uh, it does suck whenever your bulky water type does not resist uh, fire. So to fix that, I actually got Quillfish. So now I have two bulky water types. This also gives me a Toxic Spikes user. Gives me a second uh, grounded poison type. Gives me a, a Spikes user, a Taunter, and it gives me an Intimidate user, which is super important. So uh, those are the 11 mons that I decided to change from Bub's team. So, the entire team that I will be taking over is Mega Metacham, Dragonite, Togekiss, Shaman, Darmanitan, Electros, Linoon, Gengar, Rhyperior, Empoleon, and Quillfish. I'm super, 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 super happy with this team. Um, I'm very excited to be back in the P4G. I know they're all very excited to have me back. Um, so, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy. And I'm excited to just be bringing back a bunch of new series in general to this channel. But if you guys are pumped for me to be back in the P4G, leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know what your favorite mon on this team is. I will be naming everything on this team after you guys because I'm so grateful to have you guys. Our cha My channel has grown like so much and it's stayed at the same level on this little tiny hiatus that I've taken. Uh, so I'm oh so very happy and my love for mons has been rejuvenated could not be happier so leave a comment letting me know what you guys would like to be named after and i will gladly take some of those into consideration the only thing is that riperior will be named after my buddy the choice cj he is going to be my assistant coach for this season and i'm very happy we are going to aim to do team builders together a live team builder here and there we're going to aim to do a whole bunch of different cool stuff for you guys so uh I'm really, really excited for uh, to be back and to hopefully make it to playoffs and then finals and then win. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.